Hello guys, my name is Rishi Guba, and today I'm going to show you how to make Steve from Minecraft's head in CAD on Onshape. First, we're going to click create a new part studio in the same document where we created this body. We're going to click on the bottom left corner, go to the bottom of corner and click on create part studio. I'm going to rename that part studio head so we don't get confused. Then I'm going to click on sketch and select the front plane as our sketch plane. Right click and view normal to the sketch plane. I'm going to click on the center point rectangle option and create a rectangle in the middle. I'm going to hold alt while doing it so it makes it a square. I'm going to make it four inches. Then I'm going to create a line right here and it's going to be 0.5 inches. Then I'm going to go down and that's going to be 0.5 inches and make another one and connect it there. Then I'm going to click on this part and make another 0.5 inch line and create another 0.5 inch line and connect it to the plane. Now I'm going to create a the beard of his I'm going to create Steve's Steve's beard. So I'm going to create a line right here and it's going to be 0.5 inches. Then we're going to go down all the way and connect it. Now we're going to create his eyes. So I'm going to create a line right here and it's going to be 0.5 and then we're going to go sideways and it's going to be 0.95 inches go down put and then connect it back then we're going to create a line in the middle through here and now i'm going to use a dimension tool to dimension this and this point to be 0 0.05 inches in distance then i'm going to click on the mirror option select this right plane and select all of these lines that we made Then I'm going to click on the green tick mark. After that, I'm going to click on extrude and extrude every single thing that we made. We're going to make it 3.5 inches in depth and we're going to make it go the other way. So it goes this way. Then I'm going to click on the green tick mark. After that, I'm going to unhide our sketch one and click on extrude again. And I'm going to click on remove and select all of these parts. And it's going to be one inch. Then click on the green tick mark. After that, I'm going to click extrude again. Select this, this, and, and this, and this. Then I'm going to click on extrude again, and this, select all of these. Now I'm going to create a sketch on our face of extrude 1. So first we're going to unhide sketch 1, and then click on sketch, and select this face. And then I'm going to create a line from here. And it's going to be 1.5 inches. And then I'm going to go down 0.5 inches. And go 0.5 inches. Connect it, connect it back to this line. Then I'm going to use the dimension tool to, di to dimension the distance between this point and this point. So click on both of those points. And I'm going to make it 1.3 inches. Then I'm going to select the mirror tool, which is over here. And select this as a plane. And select this, this and this then click on the green tick mark after that i'm going to click on extrude extrude and click on remove and it's going to be through all instead of blind and then i'm going to click on the green tick mark after that i'm going to unhide the sketch 2 we made and i'm going to click on extrude again and select this and it's going to go the other way and it's going to be 3.5 inches it's also going to be a new otherwise it won't work and we made a mistake here. We were, it was supposed to go the other way, not this way. So we're going to go back to extrude 2. And I'm going to edit that sketch. And it's going to go the other way around. Then click on the green. Then it's going to go the other way around. So edit. I mean, go to extrude 3. And it's going to be edit. Go the other way around. And then click on the green tick mark. After that, we're going to go to extrude 4. Edit that. And it's also going to go the other way around. That makes a lot more sense. And now we're going to go to the back of our thing. Our face. And click on sketch. And select this face right here. I'm going to create a line right here that's going to be 1 inch. Then I'm going to go up 
0.5 then I'm gonna go one inch again and then I'm gonna go all the way here then I'm gonna click on the mirror tool which is over here select this plane and select this this and this then I'm gonna click on the green tick mark after that I'm gonna click on extrude select this and this and click on remove and it's gonna be one inch in depth then I'm gonna unhide I'm gonna unhide sketch three and click on extrude and select these two faces sketches again and make it a new and it's gonna go this way and it's gonna be one inch in depth then I'm gonna go to the left and click on sketch and select this face right here I'm gonna create a line that's 0.5 inches and then I'm just gonna go 0.5 inches up then I'm gonna go 0.5 inches to the side. I mean one inch to the side and one inch all the way. Then I'm gonna click on point, then I'm gonna create another line that's 0.5 inches. Go down, that's 0.5 inches, and then connect it to this edge right here. Then I'm gonna click on the green tick mark. After that, I'm gonna select extrude, click on the sketch, and we're gonna click on remove. 0.1 inches in depth. Make sure it goes this way, otherwise it won't work. Then click on the green tick mark. After that, we're gonna unhide sketch four, click on extrude, we're gonna click on extrude, and then select sketch four, and we're gonna select sketch four. Actually, hide sketch four, we're gonna select that face, and it's gonna be 0.1 inch. And then click on the green tick mark. After that, we're going to do the same thing on the right side. So we're going to go to the right side, click on sketch, and then we're going to project, a we're going to click on the project convert thing and click on this. So it does the same thing on the other side. Then we're going to click on extrude, select this sketch, and then we're going to click remove 0.1 inches. Then click on the green tick mark. After that, I'm going to click on extrude again, select this, and make it 0 0.5, 0 0.1 inch again. Now I'm going to change the appearance. First, I'm going to click P on your keyboard to hide all the planes and go hide the origin. Then I'm going to go to trimetric view. So, part one is going to be, the appearance of part one is going to be A97D64. Then I'm going to click on the green tick mark. After that, I'm going to change the appearance of part two, which is going to be the beard, and it's going to be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. It's going to be six zeros. Then I'm going to change the appearance of the upper nose, which is going to be part three, and it's going to be 4, 4, 2, 5, 0, oh, 5. Then click on the green tick mark. After that, I'm going to change the appearance of part four and five. And, and I'm going to make it FFF6Fs to make it white. Then I'm going to change the appearance of the bottom nose and click on edit appearance. And I'm, it's going to be um, 7D4104. Then click on the green tick. After that, I'm going to change the uh, pupils. So I'm going to click on edit appearance on part 7 and part A. And the color is going to be, um, and it's going to be 165, 165, 1BO, one 1B0, one I mean. Then we're going to change the appearance of the hair. So I'm going to click on part 9, edit appearance, and select part 10, and part 11, and 12 as well. And it's going to be black, so let's make it 000, zero, zero. then click on the green tick mark. And to the, this is a beautiful face. In the next video, I'll show you how to assemble this face, this head. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's called Cad Legend. And I'm hoping we get 50 subscribers this month. Thank you and bye.